Hey guys, welcome back to the Daily Special. Today we are making honey brown butter mashed sweet potatoes. Delicious. I came up with this recipe because I used to go to a restaurant called Dinosaur Barbecue in Harlem and they had the best whipped sweet mashed potatoes. It was crazy. They had like this candy walnuts on top of them, so I did that here too. It's very reminiscent, it's very easy, and it's so good. So, let's get started. Our first step is to pierce all of the sweet potatoes with a fork. I pierced them about four times each, and we're leaving them uncovered and putting them into a 400 degree oven for one hour. While we're waiting on our potatoes to roast, we can work on the candied walnuts. So we need a cup of walnuts, a tablespoon of butter, the cayenne pepper and cinnamon are optional but delicious, and a fourth cup of sugar. We're putting everything into a saucepan and letting it melt up until the sugar becomes liquidy. I like the kick that the cayenne pepper gives the walnuts. It gives them a spicy kind of vibe without being too overpowering. And the cinnamon is just lends a flavor to the sweet potatoes. So we're just gonna mix that up until the sugar melts and the walnuts are coated. This can take anywhere from 10 to 15 minutes. As you can see, the sugar is starting to dissolve and you see a little bit of that glaze on the bottom of the pan. Once it gets to this point, you're gonna toss all of the walnuts so that they're all coated. And you're gonna have a sheet pan with some parchment paper ready so you can pour the walnuts on and separate them immediately. You can use a fork or a spatula, but just make sure you work quickly because these walnuts start to harden very fast. I pulled the sweet potatoes out of the oven after an hour and I checked if they were done by poking a knife through them to see if they were tender. We're gonna let these cool for about 10 minutes and we're gonna work on our honey brown butter while we wait. So we need some honey, some butter, some heavy cream, and some cinnamon. We're starting by putting our butter in the pot until it becomes brown butter. Now you wanna watch this because it can go from brown to burnt in the blink of an eye and we just wanna make those brown bits at the bottom so that our butter will be nice and toasty. You know it's ready when you start having that nutty aroma and when you see the brown bits at the bottom of the pot. Once the brown butter is ready, you're gonna pour in your honey. Give that a little mix and then pour in your heavy cream and your cinnamon. I switched over to a whisk here to make sure everything was fully incorporated and once we're done we can get started with peeling our potatoes. Peel all of your sweet potatoes. I like to use a knife to get the skin a little loose first and put them in a big bowl. Now it's time to mash. I'm just cutting them up a little bit to help me with the mashing process and then I'm gonna go in with my potato masher. If you have a potato ricer, this works even better and yields a creamier result. Once your potatoes are mashed to your liking, you can add in that honey brown butter with the heavy cream. You're going to keep mashing and mix until everything is well incorporated. I switched to a spatula here just to make sure everything is well combined and all of that honey brown butter is evenly dispersed. Mm -hmm. 
Our final step is just to take our candied walnuts and give them a little rough chop so we can sprinkle them on top of our potatoes. And now we're going to serve them up. Those were my honey brown butter mashed sweet potatoes. I hope you enjoyed it. You can find the full recipe on my website. I'll link it down below, thedailyspecial.com. You can also find me on all social media platforms at The Daily Special. That's Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, everything. The Daily Special. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to my channel so you can see more content like this. And I'll be sharing so much more soon. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.